Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This is a table based set which was asked in Testnet 2023. Uh, in this, we are given a table that gives the results of annual performance appraisal of a company. Each individual's performance is rated on a scale of 1 to 20 and is represented in the table under parameters like designation and experience. Okay, so this is the table. It shows the experience in years 1, 2, 3, 4. And there are two categories of employees, engineers and managers. Okay, and uh, this uh, range denotes the, the appraisal rating. Like this means that there is one person whose appraisal is 12. Okay, but if there are multiple people, let's say this range. So, uh, like the appraisal ranges from 10 to 13. There are six people, the appraisal ranges from 12 to 14. There are five people, appraisal ranges from 10 to 13. Okay, so this is the total number of engineers and the total number of managers. So, they have given in the example as well that six managers with an experience of two years got an appraisal in the range of 12 to 14 with at least one of them getting a 12 and one of them getting a 14. So, minimum one person will get 12, one person will get 14. We do not know about the rest four. Okay. Similarly, here if there are 10 people, one will get 10, one will get 12, but we do not know about the other eight. It could be like some people getting 10, some people getting 11, some people getting 12. Okay. So, this is how we need to interpret the table. Now, let us answer the questions. So, first question says, among those with three and four years of work experience. So we have to deal with these people. The average performance appraisal score of managers differs from that of engineers by dash points. So basically we have to deal with two variables, one for managers, one for uh, one for engineers. Okay. And uh, the question is like at least at most, etc. So we will find the extreme ranges. So let us say we are considering about minimum of engineers and uh, maximum of engineers. So when we take the minimum, so one person will get 16, one person will get 15. Okay. So one is 16. Then we will consider that all remaining two people get an appraisal of 12. So that is 12 into 2. Okay. So this gives us the total of 40. Second, if we consider this, uh, the one with four years experience. So let us say that one person gets 15, that is mandatory and rest all get an appraisal of nine. So which is four people getting an appraisal of nine. So nine into four, 36 plus 15, 51. Okay. So they get an appraisal of 91 and these are eight people. Okay, so 91 divided by 8 gives us 11.375. Now let us look at the maximum value for uh, engineers. So in maximum value, one person should get 12. And the other two will assume that both of them. So there are three people. One person gets 12. Another person gets 16. Third person also gets 16. So 16 into 2, 32 plus 12, 44. Now, for the four year work experience, one person gets nine and the remaining people get an experience of uh, appraisal of 15. So, 60, 69, that gives us 113. Okay, average if we to find out, that will be 14.125. Okay, now let us do the same activity for managers as well. So, if we found the minimum for managers, so we have uh, like in three years, we have one person getting 12 and nine persons getting 10. So that is 102 and four years, we have one person getting 13 plus four people getting an appraisal of 10. So 53, that turns out to be 155, 155 divided by 15 because there are 15 people that gives us 10.33. Okay. Now, similarly, if we have to find for uh, the maximum for managers, uh, we have one person getting 10 and the remaining nine people getting an appraisal of 12. So 108 plus 10, 118. Now, if you have to find the maximum here, one person will get 10 and four will get 13. So 10 
plus 4 times of 13. So this gives us 52 plus 10, 62. That is 180. If we divide by 15, we get 12. Okay. Now let us look at these values. Now the value ranges from 10.33 to 12 and minimum ranges from 11.375 to 14.25. Okay. Now if you look at this, if we consider this value, right, the maximum for engineers and the minimum for managers. So the difference is the widest. See here the difference is less. If we take the minimum here, it will be uh, like it can be zero also because this range is 11 10.33 to 12, right? So it can be very close to this value. Okay, so we may have a zero as well. Like let's say 12 is possible. So we can have a 12 also here because this is the minimum point. So we can have 12, we can have zero minimum, right? So we cannot find the minimum. But maximum, if we see the maximum possible for engineers is 14.125 and 10.33 so 14.12 minus 10.33 we get that 3.79 so that could be the maximum difference so if the engineers have the maximum appraisal and the managers have the minimum appraisal the difference can be 3.79 so at most 3.79 okay next question at the most what percentage of the employees of the company have an appraisal score equal to or more than 15 okay so equal to or more than 15 let us count the number of people we have to maximize at the most means maximum so we cannot have anyone in this range anyone in this range we can have two people in this range like one person has to get 12 rest we can have here now similarly in this case we can have one person getting nine rest four getting 15 we have to have equal to right so 15 is also applicable in this all six people will have in this no person in this no person and no person here so we can have four two plus four plus six twelve people out of 40 employees which is 30 percent what is the minimum average appraisal score for all the managers in the company okay so we have to find the minimum of all the managers so what we will do is See, to minimize, just multiply by these numbers like 15 into 6 and we know that 17 is 2 extra. Okay, so 15 into 6. But we get 2 extra here. So we can get total of 92. So this way we can calculate. 6 into 12, 72. We will add 2 more. That is 74. 100 and 1 person will get 12. So 102. 5 into 10 50 and one of the persons has to get 3 extra so we will get 3 extra okay so uh, this will be 53 adding this we will get 155 247 uh, 321 okay 321 divided by 27 okay so we can divide we can get 9 and this is 107 9 into 12 is 108 so it will be 11.89 okay now uh, the maximum average appraisal score for all the engineers in the company now we have to maximize this for engineers so this is obviously 12 direct one person only now in this case we will assume that all get 13 except 110 so 13 into 4 52 minus 3 so maximum possible here is 49 okay uh, now we have 48 minus 4, 44. This we have 15 into 5, that is 75 minus 6, 69. Let's add this. So uh, this is 61, 105, 174. Okay, 174 divided by 15. So 15 into 12, uh, we need to get the maximum. So let us just see that if we made any mistake 12 is here okay 13 into 4 is 52 minus 3 is 49 16 into 3 48 44 15 into 5 75 uh, minus 6 is 69 right 61 105 174 okay 174 will and there are 13 okay so 13 into 13 is 169 13 into 13, 169, and uh, then we uh, we are left with 5. So 13 into 4, right? So 13.4, that is 13.38 will be the answer. 
Okay. Which of the following cannot be the average appraisal score of the employees that have experience of two years? Okay. Now we have to deal with these people. Average experience of two years. So let us find the minimum and maximum here. We have already found the maximum here. We will find the minimum here. So minimum will be 4 into 10, 40 plus 3, 43. So they can get 43 to 49. We have found out the maximum uh, minimum here. Let us find the maximum. Maximum will be when 5 employees gets 14, that is 70 plus 12, 82. Okay. So the range is 43 to 49 for engineers and 74 to 82 for uh, managers. So minimum we will get 117 and maximum we will get 131. So it has to be between 11.7 to 13.1. Okay. So among the options, 13.2 is out of this page. So that is the solution to the set and the answers to the questions.